Welcome to the tutorial breaking down the main parts. In this tutorial we're going to do the primary breakdown for the cartoon rabbit. So let's begin by renaming this layer in the timeline to rabbit model. So in one of the previous tutorials I had you create a separate layer for each of the three views, the front, three-quarter, and profile views, but this was just so I could show you how to do the alignment. So what we actually want is these three views on the same layer, the rabbit model layer, but in their own individual cells. So we're going to do this by selecting the first drawing in the camera view using the keyboard shortcuts, either Command X for Mac or Control X for Windows, then selecting the correct cell in the correct layer and using the keyboard shortcut Command V or Control V if you're using Windows once again. And we're going to do the same thing for the three-quarter view. And for the profile view. And then I'm just going to delete the three... Um, layers that we no longer need, just to keep my timeline nice and clean. So now we have the three views all on the same layer. The two tools that we're going to use to cut up the Cartoon Rabbit is uh, primarily the Cutter tool, but also once in a while the Select tool. So I'm going to select the Cutter tool, and to use this method of breakdown, you don't need to create any layers in the timeline. They'll be created for you as we uh, go through the process. Um, and you don't have to worry about making clean cuts. Uh, if you make rough cuts, it's it's good enough because as we'll see it later, we're going to take you through a cleanup process as well. So in one of the previous tutorials, we identified the largest parts to um, separate, and that was the body, the head, the arms on separate layers, and the two legs. So as long as I make a cut where I include the entire body, it doesn't really matter at this point if I have other things included with me. So I'm going to make a trace like this around and try to get this as clean as possible like that. And as you can see my cut area has been highlighted. Um, just to let you know, you can toggle in the tool properties um, between marquee and lasso or you could use the keyboard shortcut alt to toggle between the two as well. So what we're going to do now is go up to the edit menu and select create drawings from drawing selection. You can also use the keyboard shortcut command F9. I believe in Windows it's just F9. So I'm going to select that and it's going to give me the option of creating a layer name or um, adding this to a layer. So I'm going to create a layer name and because this is the body we're going to use our naming convention Karate Rabbit underscore because there's no left and right we're just gonna write body like that and say okay and also we if you have this um, enabled cut artwork from source uh, make sure to disable it so it should look exactly like it does here with no check mark in the box because right now we want to keep um, this intact and um, that's because if you see here if I later on want to cut out the legs from the same model well if I cut from the source I'm taking some of the legs with me. So for now we want to leave this intact so we can continue to cut out body parts from this complete rabbit. So I'm going to say OK. And now you see a new layer has been created in the timeline called Karate Rabbit Body. And if I disable this, you'll see that it's just the body like this. So let me show you a few things that uh, you can do with the cutter tool. So first I'm going to select the correct cell on the correct layer, my rabbit model layer, and I'm going to cut out the legs this time. The thing about the legs is that there's sort of a blunt line here where the um, G or this robe ends. So as we're cutting out around it, it would be really convenient if we're able to snap across and uh, create a perfectly straight line, and that's exactly what you can do with the cutter tool. So as I'm cutting around here like this, oh, that was a bad one because I should try to include the entire leg. If I let go right here, 
the software automatically creates a line from the last point to the first point. Um, I'm pretty sure I have the heel in there, so we're okay. So I'm going to do exactly what I did before, either go to the edit menu or uh, use the keyboard shortcut command um, F9 and it'll bring up the same dialog box. And once again, now I have the choice of putting this on the drawing layer, the Karate Rabbit body layer, or once again to create my own layer, um, which I'm going to do right now. I'm going to call it uh, KR underscore and I'm going to make this leg actually 02 instead of 01 and that's because I read from left to right so I think everything I would assume uh, being a 1 in the front view would be on the right side and everything that's a 2 would be on the left side. And then I'm going to make it underscore leg like that and say OK. So once again we have the um, appropriate layer that's been created in the timeline and if we uncheck everything else we'll see that in fact there's just the leg which is perfect. So we're going to go back to the rabbit model layer and we're going to do the same thing for this leg but I'll show you one more trick. So I'm going to create a cut like this. But then I notice, oh whoops, I forgot this whole part of the foot. Silly me. Well, instead of having to keep redrawing and redrawing and redrawing around until you get a good cut, what you can do is hold down the shift button and then draw around the foot and that'll include that in your selection. And then we're going to do what we did again and go uh, command F9. And I'm going to keep almost the same name but I'm going to change this to an 01 underscore leg and say OK. So the only other trick I think I have left to show you, and I'll do that cutting out the head, is what I mentioned before about the toggle. So if you use Alt, which is also option on um, Mac, you can uh, momentarily change the cutter tool into a cutter select tool. So if you do this, you can then select certain zones to cut specifically. So instead of making um, a round cut, or you can now use shift and then, you know, add this line or add a add more to it. You can just select specific zones if that might be useful for you. So now I'm just going to continue to cut the head and the two arms of the rabbit to complete the breakdown of the main body parts. Um, it might be sped up a little bit just to save time. So now we can see here in the timeline we have all of our main body parts. We have the body, the head, the two legs, and the two arms denoted by different numbers so that we know one is on the right side and two is on the left side. And that's pretty much it for the tutorial breaking down the main parts. Stay tuned for the next tutorial breaking down the secondary parts.